everyone again uh, welcome back to my channel for instrument flying and uh, today as you can see on the screen we are discussing approach briefing how to approach an airfield and how to brief an approach chart alright so uh, as you can see uh, the Jepson chart is generally split into four parts and uh, the top part from here to here is called your approach chart heading okay the whole middle section is called the plan view the whole plan view this small part is called the profile view which will give you the vertical guidance and the bottom part will give you your chart minimums and uh, airport minimums etc all right so how to start briefing a chart chart briefing is generally very important because you should know what kind of approach you're doing what are the minimums what are the missed approach procedures and all that of that sort to an airfield all right so for example i've taken here an analysis approach chart so let us start so this is a jepson approach chart for the begum pit airport dated 14 february 2014 effective also from the same date the index number is 21-1 meaning this is the second airport in the vicinity in the area for a particular city and number one stands for ILS the second number one stands for ILS and the dash one is this that this is the ILS chart and it's the number one chart in the ILS series for the runway 27 okay and uh, this is the approach ILS Zulu runway 27 the frequency for the Begum Pit Tower is 122.25 The localizer that is India Hotel Yankee Delta is 110.1 Final approach course is 271 Glide slope local auto marker 3270 ILS decision altitude 1915 In the brackets is the height that is mentioned H here as you can see and this is 200 feet above the threshold airport elevation is 1742 runway elevation is 1715 and uh, this is the minimum safety altitude in the vicinity of the airport hotel hotel yankee VOR that is the VOR station 3600 feet is the minimum elevation on QNH to be maintained so that you are safe in within 25 nautical miles of the VOR now the important part about the chart heading is that the frequencies the final approach course all this you have to continuously set while you read all right so generally obviously you'll be in uh, contact with the tower you should be ready with the frequency set to 110.1 maybe on standby you should remember that the final approach course is 271 the da is 1915 and the elevation on landing is 1715 all right so missed approach procedure is to be told at the end of the profile view so i'll explain how it works out okay so then the runway elevation is 61 hectopascals transition level is generally given by the atc and the altitude for this region is 7000 feet all right so for this approach we shall after coming overhead the station crossing the station we'll turn on to heading 09 or 1 and fly till the 5 DME mark India Hotel Yankee Delta that is the outer marker beacon this is the outer marker okay and as you can see after overhead 4600 this is the important role of profile view and plan view together you have to breach brief together so that you remember the procedure now VOR 4600 feet that will be overhead the station after crossing overhead the station from 092 heading you will turn to intercept the localizer outbound 09R1 that is 09R1 and you'll also start descending to 3300 feet from 4600 feet that is overhead the station and 3300 feet till 5 DME on the ILS DME that is India Hotel Yankee Delta and then you'll make a procedure turn to the right as given different ILS procedures have different way to do it so this is just for an example we're doing the chart briefing rather so procedure turn to the right that is 136 fly for one minute turn back on the reciprocal as I mentioned in the previous one you could check the course reversal procedure this is the same thing 136 and the reverse reciprocal heading 316 and intercept the localizer now 
the after you intercept the localizer the height is 3270 from where you'd start descending that's the final approach fix as you can call it in the viewer but here it's the descent point so from here you'll start descending on the glide slope you'll capture the glide slope and descend as per profile and you'll descend 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 till the missed approach point that is this at the missed approach point in case the runway is in, runway is in uh, sight you obviously go and land in case the runway is not in sight due to weather or traffic uh, on the runway or anything of uh, emergency that might be encountered we'll do a missed approach procedure that is here climb straight ahead to 4600 feet like this and the climbing turned left to join the viewer holding or as directed so this is about the plan view and the profile view all right these small dots are higher higher elevations in the vicinity of the airfield and these blue circles as you can see one two three four and five are five dme circles as you can see i'll just mention here can you see this d10 now d10 is DME 10 so this is a 10 DME circle 15 DME 20 DME 25 DME okay and there are lakes that are mentioned in bluish color the lakes are there in the vicinity and 3600 feet is the uh, so minimum safety altitude that's already mentioned here as well all right and then coming down to the last that is the minimums approach minimums will give you say 1915 if the ILS is if you're on ILS in case the glide slope is out your continuous descent final approach is to 2300 that is in case your glide slope is not working you'll use to you'll come up to 2300 and if you see the runway in sight then you'll continue to descend and the important part about flight uh, I mean the profile view is in case of glide slope out you can use this 5 DME should be 3300 feet 4 DME 2990 3 DME 267 Zero two DME two three five zero, and the max you can descend to two three double zero if the glide slope is out. All right. So this is the chart briefing for ILS two seven runway, and uh, this this briefing is generally used for all the procedures. Just that the procedures will change. The view is same, like the chart heading view, the profile view, the the plan view, the profile view, and the approach minimums. The minimums will give you here RVR that the visual uh, visibility runway visibility is 750 meters then you will continue full if ALS out it is only till 1200 meters this is the visibility that is given all right so this this is generally used for diversion purposes and uh, as you can see the bottom it's written here are uh, visibility 550 feet meters with flight director or autopilot or a head up display to decision altitude okay so that's all about the chart briefing if any other queries on this thing please let me know drop a comment see ya good day